day, my love. I want to see the Alliance map. Pytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city. One that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Pytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there. ...and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Come to me. This is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I have ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not love sick crowing. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. My breakfast was nothing but curds and some whey. Tis a bit bland, but keeps hunger away. Poetry about food? Ha! Oh, I quite like that! Yes! Gooseberries, maybe? 
make merry... No, no. Hmm. I should like to hear what music you write. Will you perform it somewhere? If I can get Kena Wolf's bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. The Cripple Gate of London. Might find an effect. <gasps> I beg patience all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The Olaf. Hey, where are Master Ami? You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four year back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with all manner of knavery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We're talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgus wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! You fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I'll have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that's you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. A burly name for a burly man. I like one who can hold himself in a brawl. To walk tall in London, a man must know how to swing his fists. It's not empty praise I give. <laughs> well, your candor is appreciated. Take me to your governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigger we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So this is London. A city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. 
But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lindenwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by it. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, from me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the ear. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no. No, no, no. It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, to live with these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor? God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And the man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. She came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with the clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And I got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of free such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Mistresses in Trigger's desk. Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I, I didn't know. I didn't think. He didn't want you to. It was his secret to keep. A barber surgeon's tools, sharp and precise for easy butchery, must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average, and one massive. I can't make head or foot of all this. I just... I just can't. Look at us, sitting on our laurels while Eivor does all the work.
I do not envy this man's death. Hang on, there's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal. No, it looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it, even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This kill was a message. Their footprints leave together. Three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by monikers. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The Leeds hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my Reeves face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow soon. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Go, Sunin. Uh. The Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. The gods here are vigilant.
The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there is a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting, the leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I've got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stow must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least soon and we'll feast. on a few doors that's all i'm saying trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in london looks less like a meal for crows in here hey boy you bring good findings i hope a few sheets of vellum notes between members of a secret society the order of the ancients they're called order of the ancients doesn't sound any bells in this head what's the purpose that would take some time to explain but know this that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. We know anything we can act on. The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests that he's an archer. I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I can't say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately. But not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places. Cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The Compass is a mystery. He's mentioned often, but there's little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. 
We kill the arrow and the leech. Then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let's not waste any more time. We will find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. Stowe, I'll catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The Gleeman, we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean? Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? Fifty silver I can cover, but for that sum I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation-wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. Welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. Any noise yet? About the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then don't. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... but you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It's good to talk, unburden your soul, clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. 
I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. He goes by the arrow, I'm told. Fit name for a keen archer. Can't wait to meet the man himself. About time someone did something about those filthy outlanders ruining our city. Ah, fucking pollens. Coming here with their hands out. London for Londoners. Vermin stay on the other side of the wall. with an image of the London Colosseum. Come, see my wares. This will help you in your travels. You have an eye for craftsmanship. You won't regret this purchase. Yes, this is a good look. You would look very striking with this. You've made a great choice. This is a current fashion. This is finished looking around. You always bring the strangest things. Take this off your hands. This will be perfect for someone else. Nothing else? I have to go. See you soon.
seen them round my mum's house. Oh, yes. Thinking they can stink up the place. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I'll shoot a practice round, just to be sure. Go ahead, then. They're all set up. How was that? You've got quite an eagle eye on you. I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayen. All right, take your mark. Hooks set! Arrows not! Fire! Hold in spear! Did you see that? Incredible! We are halfway down the sand! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Pull yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. The Arrow is making his speech at the Imperial Arch. On your way now. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends, brethren, good people of London, we have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, have us. What we need now are strong borders and stronger soldiers. Today, I honor that wish. I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These elite archers will be stationed with our springers, ready to attack invaders by land, 
go by water. And further, until these storms of accusations clear, I will take Trigger's place at the head of our fair city. Not that I could replace him, for Trigger was a pillar of steel. But I can try. Let me be your arrow. Let me point a true way forward. Some will be naysayers. Those who wish to discredit me. And those who wish to keep London weak. Listen not to them, friends. I serve only London. I serve you. London is a place of prosperity. Prosperity we must export to all of Britain's kingdoms. No more false kings with their lies. Keep the ancient ways, the true strength of London. Rule London. Rule Britain. Rule the world. Into order and truth. Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? 
That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true, and it's cold comfort, when glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgas gone, I'll turn my attention to the leech. Erkes should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we'll let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. Ich bin ein Platte, 